Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters. Although my oldest is grown and out of the house, my middle daughter is now away at school. And so it is my youngest that lives here with me in our home. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. Today we are doing the first half of my cash stuffing for the second paycheck of March. I do split my videos into two or my cash stuffing into two because I have so many binders and envelopes. It would be a very long video if I did not do that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start by counting the cash. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 89, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1000, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. So we have $1,085 that we're stuffing today. And we're going to start with my Moterm wallet. First thing I'm going to do is take out my receipts and remind you guys about Fetch. If you're not using the Fetch app, you are missing out. You just scan the receipts and I'll have my referral code up here. Um, when you scan your receipts, you basically get points for them and those points are turned into gift cards. Super easy app, the easiest of all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take out what is left over. There's not much. We have $1 in groceries. We have $1 in dining out. <laughs> Two whole dollars so far, yay. But we have 10 in miscellaneous, which is awesome. So we have $12 left over. The rest of these will roll over except for the coins. So I am gonna add the coins to my coin jar and we will use those on savings challenge day. All right, so we are gonna start by stuffing my wallet. I am gonna keep these cute little envelopes until the end of March, so you won't see my new, uh, my other ones, my solid green ones until uh, April. Um, and a reminder, I don't have a gas envelope anymore. I only use the Upside app, or I'm trying to only use it, and so I have to use my debit card for that. That's the one um, bad thing about Upside, but sometimes you can scan receipts um, if the card doesn't link up. But Upside, um, I've gotten some referrals so thank you that have used my code for those that have used my code what's cool about upside is that your referrals earn you um, earn you money all the time every time they use the app and then your referrals referrals and on and on i think that's pretty cool and right now upside has a seven dollar bonus for you and for me if you use my code so i'll have it up here um i just think i'm liking upside more and more and maybe it's becoming more widespread as well so um when you use Upside, you can get from one cent off to 15 cents off a gallon of gas. And I go through a lot of gas. So I've been saving, I think I have over $60 on there now. So anyway, okay, we're gonna move on. Groceries is gonna get 150. So for groceries, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 45, 50, 150. And this is for two weeks. And like I've said before, it is just autumn. My 11 year old and myself here, and I, I get butcher box um, every about six to eight weeks. So I don't typically have to buy meat. So 150, $75 a week seems to work for us. Dining out is getting 30. And this is, you know, uh, spent mostly mostly at McDonald's. Autumn sure loves McDonald's. If I let her, I could let her eat McDonald's every night and she'd be satisfied. <laughs> All right, miscellaneous is getting twenty dollars. And clothes, um, like I said before, this will be used at the end of the month to pay on my Kohl's card um, for April. So there should be a total of, uh, there's 40 now. There will be 60 cause I have one more paycheck this month cause it is a magic month for me. So $60 will be going towards my Kohl's card and gifts. I am going to try and build this up. I have some birthdays coming up in May. That would be the next thing. Obviously there's mother's day in there too coming up in May, but I have a savings challenge for that. So gifts is at 40. 
and health has 10 left over and it is also getting twenty dollars so health will be at 30 now and this is for copays uh prescriptions or over-the-counter medicine any anything like that vitamins i will use this envelope geez a lot of tens left over this week so we are adding uh 20 to pets so now we have 30 but i don't think we really need much at the moment at least so uh, we might be able to roll this over till next week which would be our next payday which would be nice we do have a cat three turtles and three fish um, we have plenty of food and whatnot for the turtles and the fish uh, the cat i just had spent some of the money for food for him and we're good on litter so i can't imagine needing this so that's great blessings which is crazy i don't usually have the blessings money left over i have five dollars i'm adding another five so when i see someone in need um that would be good actually when we went to mcdonald's the other day we went through the drive through autumn and myself she, autumn said why don't we pay for the person behind us maybe maybe next time we could do that that would be cool autumn wanted to do that and i was like ah i didn't know where to pull that money from but blessings would be a great great time but usually i like to use that for when i see someone you know in need um on the street Ooh, this is stuffed wow pretty stuffed but ready to go for the next couple weeks and moving on to my revolving binder and this is all things that you know um are spent you know somewhat regularly school um i did spend out of the school envelope oh it's got a new tracker but don't quite need it yet so for school we have 55 we did take um autumn what was it 20 dollars. i'm trying to oh it was a shirt a shirt for um the battle of the books at her school that's what it was for all right we're adding five dollars i couldn't remember so now we're at 20 45 55 55 dollars for school and i'm trying to build this up for when the next school year starts for school supplies but still not too bad with 55 and landscaper i know i've talked about this before this is for my parents property it's getting five dollars um i don't have a landscaper here i'm looking into it but my parents um we get that for them uh every year uh, it was a Father's Day gift years ago for my dad um, that me and uh, all my siblings, we put in and we pay for the landscaping at their house. So my dad doesn't ever have to go out there anymore. I don't think he minded it too much, but um, they like having it still. So we keep doing it. So now we should be at 30, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And between myself and all of my siblings, it only cost me $20 a month um, unless they raise their rates again this year. It might go up a little bit. But still split between everyone that's good Holid oh holidays isn't getting anything it has six whole dollars in here uh holidays i started a bunch of savings challenges for so i'll move that money in here eventually and family fun so autumn's spring break is the first full week of april and ari's is actually um next week so Ari will be home for a week and then Autumn will be off for a week and um, but Ari will be home also for uh, like an Easter break that they get so we're gonna add five dollars so I probably should have added more on next paycheck I will definitely add more because Ari will be home and maybe we'll do something fun we'll see uh, so we should be at 53 10 25 35 45 50 1 2 and 3 53 my girls and I have not been to a movie in a long time so that would be cool to do all right so we have two birthday envelopes i am gonna eventually split these so i can really focus on the november one november birthday i have for my girls this is just for my daughters and then the two februaries that i have but for right now i'm adding five dollars and we should be at 37 5 10 15 20 25 30 5 36 37 dollars in birthdays and Costco is getting ten dollars. Yep. And we should be at 25, 10, 15, 20. I did make a Costco run not that long ago. It's not on here, huh? Must have been um at the end of February. But I did forget vitamins for autumn and I, I really need to get back there to get them. I just worry when I go in there I'm gonna spend too much <laughs> and not have the funds for it. All right, mortgage is getting seven hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These old bills, I would love to save them, but I just can't do that right now. They're not that old, I know. Um, let's see. 1996. That is the year my oldest daughter was born. 
So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So $1,400 in mortgage. This is for my mortgage, my HOA, uh, my insurance, my escrow, everything. Um, I will stuff this one more time with the last paycheck and be all set for April. All right, moving on to self-care. Self-care is getting $30, 25 30 and we should be at a hundred dollars 20 40 65 75 85 95 100 yes so this is enough i will be getting my nails done and get a pedicure as well while i'm there all right moving on to giving giving just has five it's getting a five we now have ten dollars so this is kind of like my backup giving i have a blessings in my wallet and then this so if ever I, you know, know there's a need for some something for someone, I will take from this. All right. And mom fuel. Mom fuel is getting $10 and we'll be at 20. And this is for all my coffee needs. I drink bulletproof coffee. So I get um, MCT oil and um, I do put a protein powder in there as well. So we have 5, 10, 15 and $20. I also like to use the Kerrygold butter, which is a little more expensive, but a lot of times that comes out of my grocery money. And miscellaneous is getting $5 as well. And $5 makes it now $5, 10 15 and $20 in miscellaneous. And this is just a backup miscellaneous envelope. Again, um, I would like to build this up so that if there's ever a bill I forget about somehow, a couple months ago I forgot about Butcher Box, and that's like 150. So if I can get it up to a 150, 200, I will be very happy. That is it for my beautiful revolving binder. All right, we are moving on to the savings binder. So for the first two envelopes are Ari and Ani, my two younger daughters. So there's $12 here. I usually like to split it between them. Let's see, Audi has, I am going to actually give Ari the $10 because Ari is 18 and um, I didn't ever, wasn't ever really able to save for her. So I'm adding 10, so she should be at 366. So we have one, two, 300 in the high yield savings, 20, 35, 45, 55, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. Awesome. So she has 366 in hers. And so Audie will get the $2. But like I said, Audie is a quite a bit younger. Audie is 11. So it's, oh, I need a new tracker. Audie will be at 332. So we're adding the $2. And she has one, two, one, two, 300 in the high yield savings. And then five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Awesome. 332 for Audi, which is way better than, um, than I would have expected just adding little bits here and there. So yay. Cannot wait to do a condensing and get these crummy bills out of here. Okay, we are moving on to my savings, and my savings is getting five dollars, and we should be at 135, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35, 135 for my savings. Slowly but surely adding up. This is not my only savings. I do have other, uh, but this is just like a general savings account. And my Australia envelope is getting $5. And I did put this in the high yield savings. We have one, two, 300 in the high yield savings. And now I have 20, 40, 5, 50, 2, 54, 55. So $355 in my Australia fund, which is awesome. Five more dollars and I'll be able to color a little kangaroo here on my Caro Cash uh, tracker. Moving on to Ari's car, and I say this all the time, I told Ari I would match her savings. She has over 600 saved. I am now at 460. One, two, three, four, 20, 45, 55, and 60. 460 for Ari's car. And then my new car savings. I will, if, oops, if necessary, if I find a car for Ari, um, and if I need to use this to, to bump her, her savings up, I will. 
let's get in my last five dollars here and we should be at 235 one two 25 30 and 35 so 235 for my new car savings and um once I pay off some of my debts, I will really focus on this more because I need a new car. I'm not, I didn't designate anything for my old bills collection. I will show that again on the next cash stuffing of my savings binder. So that's it for savings. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, Stay tuned for part two of the cash stuffing. And of course, we'll have savings challenges at some point this weekend um, with an extra hundred. Yay. So you guys take care. Have a blessed day.